Hello, my name is Liz, and in this video, my colleague Shilpa and I are going to show you the metadata cache for OData API's policy template in the SAP API Business Hub. This policy template allows for full caching of the metadata, which significantly increases the performance of OData APIs managed by SAP Cloud Platform API Management. The SAP API Business Hub is integrated into SAP Cloud Platform API Management, and therefore, all the APIs and policy templates in the Business Hub can be easily discovered and consumed in SAP Cloud Platform API Management. We know all the APIs and policy templates can be discovered using the Discover option in SAP API Management. So if you're not already logged into your SAP API portal, you need to first log in. When you do, select the Discover icon from the top left, then choose the All tab. Search for Metadata Cache and open the package. If you want to view it in the API Business Hub, you can select that option from the top right, which will open another tab to the API Business Hub, showing you that it's also available from there. Select the Artifacts tab and copy the API using the icon on the right. When you're finished, select the pencil icon on the left to go to the design view to double check on the policy templates tab that the template was in fact successfully copied over for you. I have already created APIs from an SAP S4 HANA system, so I'll be using the API titled My Planned Orders to apply this policy template to. You don't have to use an SAP S4 HANA system and can use a variety of systems such as SAP SuccessFactors, SAP Gateway, SAP Hybris Cloud for Customer, or even a third-party system. Select Policies from the top right, then Edit, Policy Template, and choose Apply. From the pop-up, find the Cache Metadata Template from the list. When you do, select it and then choose Apply. We can see it gets applied to the pre-flow, so it will cache metadata from the incoming requests, and you can see the condition string details here. Now select the post-flow option from the left, and notice this policy is also assigned there. The reason being, when we fire the URL for the first time, nothing will be cached, so it goes to the back end, gets the response, and then caches it. So now from the second time, it will directly take it from API management, and it doesn't have to go to the back end again. Now let's update this policy and then save it. Next, we want to test this policy. So navigate to the test console by selecting the icon from the left navigation. Select the API that we just applied the policy to and then append the URL with a dollar sign metadata after the guidelines and policy template. We also want to pass the query parameter cache data equals one, so append with that as well. Select headers, and we want to invalidate the cache first, so if anything is in the cache, it should get metadata. Enter invalidate cache as the name and set the value to true. Then send your request. Notice for me, it took 899 milliseconds. Now let's go back and delete the header and see whether it gets fixed. So send the request again. So now the response is only 44 milliseconds because the data was fetched from the cache. Select the debug option and then refresh it. You can see the first time it's a little bit more because the UI rendering time is taken into account in debugging mode. But still, you can see it took 152 milliseconds the first call and only 18 the second call. If I refresh and send the request again, you can see it's even faster. Thank you for watching.